Hey everyone, welcome back. This episode here, I'm gonna open the box of this uh, cross slide vise. If you've seen some of my previous episodes, you know why I got this. I'm gonna be making my um, polymer lower using this. So, with my free utility, um, let me see here, my free utility knife that I got from Harbor Freight, which is this thing here. I'll go ahead and start uh, opening. Okay, that was easy. So let's see what it looks like. Oh. All right. So here's what it looks like. Here's some. Uh, let me see here. Oh. Looks like a. Uh, some directions. Okay. Okay, I guess it'll come in handy. So let's actually see what it looks like here. Oh boy. All right. Oh, looks like we got the the handle here, handle here, and this is the actual cross vise here. Let's see what. So there's one piece handles out here. There we go. And uh, that's what it looks like. So it looks like it's already pre-assembled. I just got to figure out how to put it in and uh, get it down. Very oily, of course, as always. Anything from Harbor Freight is always oily. So, let's see how it works. Let me cut out and cut in. Alright, I'm um, coming back in and already we got a problem. Looks like this thing here is sideways. I may have to use some of my tap and die to fix that. This is uh, alright, it came over here. So, let's see what happened. Looks like it was on sideways. You know how you get stuff from Harbor Freight. I'm going to have to figure that out. So, anyways, here it is. It's out of the box and uh, let's see if Let's see what we can do with this. Try and come back in, and yeah, it's totally, uh, totally stripped. I'm gonna have to use a tap and die to, to get this done. And uh, look at that. See right there? Totally stripped. Um, gosh. Anyways, uh, I have a tap and die set um, again from Harbor Freight. We'll see what we can do with that part right here. I might just go ahead and um, let me see here. Okay, I'm just going to have to figure something out. Um, anyways, I'm going to have to figure something out with the screw. So I'll just go ahead and do that off the camera. Um, I do have an episode where I do have a tap and die set. Um, so I'll use that. Uh, probably the screws, threads here are all messed up as well. Probably, most likely. Um, I can check. Let me see here. Let me see if the threads are messed up. On the, uh, on the nut here. Most likely it is. Uh, yeah, it's not even going to go on. Oh yeah, it's not even going to go on. Okay. Well, I'll cut out for that and I'll fix that up. And uh, So, anyways. That's Harbor Freight, everybody. That's why you have to buy more tools to fix the tools that you buy. But, you know, it's cheap. Anyways, uh, let me get that done. All right, everyone. Um, I got the uh, the measurement here to do. Uh, see how how it fits and it looks like it looks like 1.25. This is on the uh, on the metric here. So, uh, see, Harbor Freight sells these tap and die just for this reason. When you buy their tools, you're gonna probably most likely gonna have to use it. All right, I'm in the uh, I'm in the garage here, and I got the setup. This is a uh, 0.25. It kind of says it right there, 0.25, and you kind of see it here as well. See, it's an M8.25. So uh, according to this, 0.25. Okay, and so far I've got it on here. This is the one that works. It does 
stick it on. It gets kind of tighter as you get closer to the to the threading part. So I uh, use my anvil, which I also got from Harbor Freight. See, the, if you ever want to know why Harbor Freight makes okay tools, uh, it's because you'll need the other tools to fix these tools, which will fix the other tools. So great marketing anyway. That's a great plan. That's like making a really bad car and then selling the parts for the car. You know. So there we go. Just gonna just wanna see if it if it just Yeah. I'm not gonna go all the way. This is the one that works. So just wanna make sure it it's gonna go. So this one that works. I'm not worried about this one. So I'm going to do this one here. Let's see which, which uh, the thread's really bad, but let's see if I can just get it. If I can get it to accept, okay. Now this is the one that's really bad. You see it's already got gunk on it or something. I think what happens is that it pushed up, the screw pushed up against, uh, the bolt pushed up against the screw. It probably seemed like it might have fell or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, so let me just go ahead and do this, put some oil on it, turn it, clean it. Um, here's the, uh, well, I'm not sure which one's the tap and which one's the die, but this is the one, other one I'm going to use on the, uh, on the thread here. This is the one I'm going to use on the nut. So, oh, uh, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, the, I got that done. It, it seems to work pretty good. Um, put a little bit of put a little bit of oil on it here, just to just to make it uh, go smoother. And you can see kind of the shavings. Let me see if I can. It kind of shaved a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Uh, you can, I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. It's, uh, there you go. A cleaner, you can see the shavings and everything kind of coming through. So, yeah, blow some air through that and uh, get that going. So let's go ahead and, uh, I'm not sure which one's the tap and dies, so forgive me, but let's do this part here on the uh, actual thread, and uh, we'll get that going. All right, here's the, uh, the tool that you need to... Uh, do the uh, threading here. Here's the thing. So uh, again, I'm not sure whether it goes this way or this way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but there, there's this little groove here, and the two little holes on the other side, and just line them up here so that they can uh, just go in. And then, of course, you you can probably just do it by hand. It's not a big big deal. And then just get that lined up here and you can start uh, getting that thread all straight. So let me cut out and come back in. All right, here's my, my little setup. Uh, this thing's just going to turn and turn. So I, I use this little vice wrench here to put this pressure on here while I, uh, while I turn this here. Let me see. Oh, no, I need to go the other way with it. Okay, so I need to have this have this on the other side so let me let me do that hold on all right so now now i got it on here and hopefully this will hold let's see if it does and then let's just slowly turn this it's uh, really tough but as soon as i get done i'll cut back in yeah it's it's it's, it's coming out really good let me see if i can get that in focus i don't know if you can see that you probably can't see that really well but it's starting to turn really good Let's, uh, let me go ahead and just see if I can, here you can, see, you can kind of see that threading. Let me go ahead and just take it out here. Oh yeah, that threading looks uh, way better. It's really bad right around here. It's kind of, kind of been stripped a little bit. It turns a lot easier now. Put some oil on this and you can kind of see the shavings coming out. Let me see if I can just get this done. Let's see what it looks like. As long as it works, that's... Yeah, it's kind of been, it looks like it's going to be stripped a little bit, but there we go. Sorry. There it is. 
So you can see that it's been, um, let me see, there you go. So now at least it's hopefully going to work. Let me get the uh, screw and see how, how it does. Alright, uh, I'm going to give both of them a try real quick. Let's see if they, they'll even turn in there. Oh yeah, okay, good. Yeah, it'll work. Ugh, it'll work. I know this one works. Let's try the other one. Yeah, this one works too now. This is probably the one because it goes in real easy. They're, you know, I don't, I don't know if they're using the same metric system in China or not, but uh, maybe their metric system is different than than on the metric system used in America. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, there you go. That's done. Just goes to show, you know, that's that's very brilliant of Harbor Freight to, um, you know, have these tools not come out just right. So you have to use the other tools. You have to buy other tools to fix this tool. So I, I give them props on that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and complete this now. Well, there you go, everyone. Um, completed. Done. So let's see how, how this thing works. This yeah, moves it in one direction. Looks like it moves it straight. Uh, looks like this side right here will open and close the vise. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what the hell these are for. Uh, okay, they're, this is for something else. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I should read the manual. And again, this one as well. I'm not really sure what it's for, but it must be for something. Uh, let's see how it how it works over here on this one. Oh, I just need this to, to go far out enough to, to... Yeah, it moves. It moves pretty good. I think these are just uh, because they, they're, there's something in here. I don't know if you can see that something right in here that kind of shows that they may lock into place a little bit more to get it a little tighter so I'll go ahead and lock those in a little bit uh, again with another Harbor Freight tool probably um, so uh, once I get that done I'll go ahead and put it on the bench press but so far oh boy as far as this goes uh, you know, it's it is Harbor Freight. Keep in mind, it's a cross slide vise, and uh, if you have any issues with uh, like I had, uh, you probably have to buy more Harbor Freight tools to fix this Harbor Freight tool. So uh, this concludes this episode. Uh, after this, I'll go ahead and I'll make that uh, infamous uh, polymer um, AR-15 polymer with uh, these tools now. So. Uh, let me cut out and uh, I'll cut back in now. All right, everyone. Uh, here it is. Um, it's it's working. Uh, here's the drill and everything. Um, there is places right here, as, as you can see, for different slots in different areas, how far you want it to go. Um, so there is place and it and it seems to it seems to work uh, really well here. And then also, uh, as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but I'll slide it around. There, as you can see right here. And so once you get it in, you can kind of maneuver around on this drill press here. And then uh, turning this handle, you can do things with it, you see. And, uh, of course, uh, this is the, the vise. Let's see if I can grab something and see how it works. I gotta just make sure it's adjusted to 90 degrees, however I want it. Uh, typically, you put the uh, the drill bit inside of here, and then you would uh, see if it's 90 degrees. Uh, you would use something, well, you know, something like like this to uh, make sure it's a 90, and uh, and then uh, of course you can. There we go. Slide it over. There it slides. There we go. And so y you could see what's what's going on here as it slides in back and forth. Let's see if this this would tighten it. So I guess what these are right here. 
what this is right here is to once you get into place you can you can tighten it and then it just it won't move on you it won't move on you and then you could let it go to have it slide again same thing with this here loosen this up and it slides a lot a lot easier and then you would try to if you got it once you got into place you tighten it this doesn't really keep it into place that well but you can tighten it and then it doesn't it just won't move that easy so there you go this is what you would use a cross slide vise along with your uh, drill press here 13 inch drill press and you could start uh, you know I wouldn't I don't know if you'd be milling plastic uh, metal or anything but you can definitely um, start milling um, uh, you know plastic at least you could probably easily mill plastic so again I got this whole setup here for um, for my uh, uh, AR-15 polymer lower receiver build here so uh, you're like an own shop you're, on, you're your own uh, manufacturer of uh, um, you know weapons and guns and stuff anyways this is just one tool that I could use uh, obviously I'll be using it for other things now that I have a better understanding of how to use a drill press along with the uh, a vise and a slide cross vise uh, you can start really doing some amazing things with it anyways uh, thanks to my <laughs> good old anvil uh, I put the tap and die set away um, but the tap and die uh, again all from Harbor Freight and Harbor Freight's very smart you know they, they make the tools kinda just broken enough that you need the other Harbor Freight tools to basically fix them so <laughs> anyways um, feel free I know I already said uh, I was going to cut in and cut out, but um, feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a video, let me see, uh, like, dislike, uh, leave a comment, uh, also do a video response. Until next time, stay tuned.